This is uh, morning in Battambang. This is Sunday. Uh, today is Sunday, January 18. It's about 7:15 in the morning. So this is the view from my uh, second floor hotel. We came back from uh, Pylon City uh, yesterday evening. We were going to stay there, but the hotel is not too nice over there. Check out some plantation. And today we're going to head back to Siem Reaps along Highway 5 northbound and then connecting eastbound on Highway 6. It's about a two and a half hour, I would say three hour drive. Beautiful cool morning here in Batambang City. Uh, this is a uh, dry season so you get wind and cool uh, moisture. Uh, coming in and in the wet season it's hot and humid in Cambodia so this is a good time to come between October and March This is the view from a uh, front hotel. So flag of Thailand and Vietnam. Oh, it's downtown, my baby. Very quiet in the morning. Come here. Come here. Hardly any traffic coming through here. But Mbong is a very quiet, sleepy uh, city. Some uh, white couple doing a uh, cross cross-country uh, bicycling. Let's go back. Let's go. Let's go. Cambodian flags. It's good that they put Cambodian flag. South Korean. South Korean donate donate a lot of money to uh, Cambodia. And this is the most beautiful flag in the whole world. Right next to Japan and Cambodia. I hope it's gonna be like that a long time in the near future.
beautiful sunrise here in Battambang. Ini bakta nam ipon moy, monang tira, ipon moy bang mani, hang ini dah, pak day hoy kucuk nombong. Before we head to Siem Reap, stop by here to get breakfast, noodle. This place been here for a long, long time. When I was here in 2001, it was here and it, it was not uh, paved like this. It was all red dirt. Must be a uh, good food in there. It's a stop sign, but nobody's stopping. Good. Bye, chuk ya. Wow, ni yang macam chuk mah. Bên mana, nè, bên mana. 
This is the uh, Badambong Stung Songkai uh, River. So you still have family uh, living along the riverbank. In Siem Reap Riverbank, uh, they uh, evicted, I think, almost all the family living in Siem Reap uh, Riverbank to make the river cleaner for tourists. Badambong is a quiet city, so not too much eviction here. And I thought they only had two bridges, but I'm counting more than four or five already. So there's a lot of bridge crossing the uh, Steng Sankai River in Badambang. I saw a lot of Western tourists. Uh, Standing here, I think they're getting into a tourist boat. I'm gonna go ask where uh, the tourist boat uh, go to. Oh, 
it's an uh, express boat. But the monk to Siem Reap. Okay. Yeah. There's a soldier up there. <laughs> what is he doing up there? Chopping a tree. Bong and old it to see him live, Mandala. Mandri? Pay dear. Pay dear? Pay man mount them, no. Mount bay 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 Tourists is twenty dollar trips, so another way to rip off uh, tourists. People paying almost double the price. So the boat trip takes about six to seven hours because uh, of the uh, dry season. They have to maneuver around uh, the shallow water during the uh, high water, so they just drive a, a straight route. But yeah, it takes long at night because they have to maneuver the shallow water so they don't hit the uh, uh, the ground on the uh, along the uh, Tonlesap River. Let me go check around the uh, the boat dock. Oh, I need a note. <coughs> a lot of coughing and spitting in Asia. So, this is the boat that takes you to Siem Reap. I took this boat one time in 2001, but it was during the... Uh, it was July, it was a wet season, so the water was high and it was fast. But here, you can see the, along the riverbank, the water is all uh, dries up. So this guy has to be careful when he uh, drives the boat. Because he might hit, a, uh, might hit a ground and then boom, crash. That's why it takes six, seven hour boat trip. Normally it takes about five, six hours from Siem Reap to Phnom Penh. And Bat Nam Bong is in the middle between uh, Phnom Penh and Siem Reap, so a lot of tourists here. It sucks that they have to pay double the price, almost double the price than the local people. It's almost dangerous to uh, drive this boat in this low uh, water like this. go down a little bit <laughs> uh, you have family living along the river casting a net to catch fish to sell some eat some trying to struggling uh, to make a living day by day like most family in Cambodia except for Phnom Penh uh, resident where they have a uh, business they more wealthy than the uh, the rest of the province
I hope they have a la a uh, what you call those uh, life vest, floating vest, and not for two, two for about thirty people on that boat. Most boat doesn't carry the, a life uh, floating vest, but I don't hear a lot of boat accident. Uh, you know, you can you hardly hear it except car accident is all over the news every day. Here they go. Have fun. I bet it's a beautiful view for them along the river. And here's another uh, bridge in Battenbach. Friend, uh, she's taking a taxi on that maroon Camry to Phnom Penh because she has to go back to work uh, today in the evening. Taxi to Mandri? Pramon. man. In now here. Something, some fruits. <sighs> this is Highway Five, uh, heading to uh, Poi Pad, and then connect to Highway Six East to Sim Reaps. Just left uh, Battambang about 40 minutes ago. Stopping by here. Like a big rice uh, family uh, process here. Just like the bike. Just like this, I don't cry that here. That bong, eh? That old chalang, no, eh? Oh, hello, I am from Hong Kong. Do I change? Go. How slow? Slow and very slow. Oh. Hey, Tom, that's slow. Do my bow, bow, man. Oh, hello. Get to long bow, to long hello. Oi. Oh, my. Pets of real? Pets of Pets of but now the Vietnamese company do not accept, uh, do not buy any more rice until after the Vietnamese New Year, which is the same as a Chinese New Year, February something. So you gotta show this guy some respect, like I said before. This is the home turf. <laughs> Every Cambodian house has a dog. Check out this rice, family owner. Rice paddy, and then they harvest it, and all the uh, family member here, maybe some laborer. Just rice piles and piles of rice. Go again, huh? Beautiful rice. This is a rice seed. Before they process and turn it to uh, white rice, that you eat on your family uh, dinner table. This is how it works. Check it out. 
So they backed them up by hand. I just stopped by the highway, check out here. A lot of <laughs> young uh, lady, young uh, men working here. Oh no! <laughs> Try guy, this guy trying to give me trouble here. Oh girl, female. So they work in teamworks, two people holding a bag and then with the bucket, fill it up the rice sacks and then they uh, load it up on the, uh, the little tractor and head it out to the warehouse or the buyer. Oh, you don't know, eh? Oh, how is Rao Nis at the Bokrosa young, eh? Chamoe, Sraiko, no cana, cano, eh? No crown, eh? Oh, Sraiko, Tom Namaja. Hey, Petro, Moya, the only church road got there. Msana, oh, no problem, son. Msana, you will get it, eh? Bah, oh, Chop Chro die, a loss rule. Bah, bah, bah. So they don't harvest the rice by hand anymore. They use a tractor to harvest the rice, separate the uh, the hay and the seed, and then another tractor brought them here, and then they do it by hand over here. <laughs> so they don't do it by hand anymore. Come on, man, give me some space, dude. Beautiful rice. So you have to be very appreciative of uh, the rice you put on your dinner table. So most of the rice uh, produced in the world uh, still do it by hand. Part of it some by machine, but this is how it works, you know. So like my mom always tell me, hey, always eat all the rice on your plate because a lot of labor has been put into uh, uh, putting rice on your table, on your plate. So this is it. Throw in con? This this particular rice called Sri Ning Con. There's hundreds of rice, uh, different kind of rice. So this is probably the most common in Cambodia. Oh, man. Mm. Smell it? Now let's have day. I want to go to a rice paddy where it's still ripe on the paddy. Uh, so far I haven't run into one. Maybe in a, when I get back to Siem Reap. So let's head back on Highway 5 to Poi Pad. <laughs> Let's do another stop. Still heading bar on northbound on uh, Highway 5. Stop and buy some more. This is the same route we took uh, two days ago. Some Krulan cake. Yeah, to do yeah. Uh, no, to do you.
is so cute. So I just pulled off Highway 5 again and I uh, saw a rice, beautiful rice paddy and I stopped and asked the, uh, the owner here to uh, take a picture of a rice paddy over there up ahead. So, and there's no dogs here. I asked them if they have, if they have any dogs. They said no dogs, so that's good. No four-legged beast security. So let's go check out rice paddy. I think there's some rice. Uh, uh, that's a uh, growing seed on the stem already. It's beautiful here. I think this is a fish pond. With Cambodia now, when they have a pond or man-made pond, they uh, uh, stock fish, tilapia, uh, some uh, carps to sell in the market. Yeah, and this is a fish pond here. It's beautiful. So, I just drive, when there's a beautiful scenery, I just stop, ask the local people for permission, and then that's the best way to travel and uh, see uh, a Cambodian uh, way of life. Let's go check out the rice paddy. It's humongous. So, here we are, rice paddy. Beautiful here in uh, Bad Dambang. We're getting close to the uh, Bantai Mien Jai province. This rice is still young, so I don't see any seed yet. I'm trying to stop at another rice paddy with the seed uh, already growing.
it smells so good over here. I think the uh, fragrance comes from the rice uh, plant. Oh man, endless, endless field of rice paddy here. My wife's getting to know the uh, owner of the house. Uh, yeah. I don't know they own the. I don't know if they own the uh, rice field in the bag or they just take care of it for someone. Mm. She just take care of the rice paddy and the fish pond for some owner. บ่คนชื่อมาไข่โจเป็ดปรามเอาบ่มวยดองอืมดาดาเบลุสมายปรามเลียนมันเด้อปอนอลาปอนอลาปอนเพราะมาฉน้ําได้ปุ่นเด้
and let's head back on the highway. It used to be a big warehouse here where they uh, process uh, rice. I think the lady told me they opened a new one across the highway. She said there's a lot of fish uh, in that pond, but right now it's all been uh, scooped up to sell in the market. <laughs> so the highway is right there. So right now it's uh, 11.38, I'm getting close to Siem Reap, uh, this is still Highway uh, 6, that way to Siem Reap, I just pulled over, over to this uh, golf club, checking out the uh, local uh, people uh, casting net to catch fish. This is the uh, Pokitra Country Club Angkor Wat, it's an expensive country club. A lot of international players come here. Even the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Hun Sen come to play here. So I got permission from the security guard right there at the post to let me stop by here for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna come down and uh, watch people, uh, watch this guy cast a net. There's people uh, pulling a net on each side uh, to catch fish. Here come. So this guy is waiting uh, for the right moment to cast his net. I have about 10 minutes only because I promised security guard I won't hold him up because he might get in uh, trouble by his boss. There he goes. Water is very shallow over here. Waiting for this guy to cast his net.
Come on, dude. Cast it. Pane, mau mantra yang ini? Art? Tegar ya apa ini? Hot band thought, man. I didn't catch him casting that. I had to turn on my camera. Probably it's overheating. I'm trying to maneuver through this mud. There you go. He said he hasn't caught anything yet. They also trapped a fish here. What's that? It's a boat, right? It's a boat. It's a boat. It's a boat. It's a boat. It's a lot of people trying to catch a fish from the same shallow pond. Not even a pond, it's a canal running through the highway. Let's zoom in. Mang mui thì mới như sông thát mui mà. It's a technique. I'm trying to learn how to cast a net too, but it's not easy, and it's pretty heavy. Weighs almost. Four or five pound. It's gotta be fish in here, I know. Bang, da. Hey, jam masih tu, mana we terlepas? Bang. Tapi sebab terlepas slow ni, mata bang. Tapi misa we na. เจ้าเนี่ยฮอตมานเจ้าไงให้มาจ้าครมคนนี้ก็ได้รอเรื่องเยอะไงเนี่ยสรุปในภูมิบองกราบบองกราบไว้บ้างมาหน้าใดบอ
So he cast the net and caught one mudfish. Nice, small net. Cast it in there, let it sink. Takes time to uh, the net as it's uh, change, still change with weight so to sink it down and it slowly sink it down in the muddy water and pull up a nice mud fish. Enough to feed his family, I guess. Make soup. Mui tiết đấy, cái bong mui tiết đấy. Ồ hả? Chả mơ bong gặt bong mui tiết. Thoát khe mà đá ban mui mà. Ất bình trầy cái nhé mà đâu mình nè. Trầy cái anh ta mệt bằng tất thả anh tí. Takes a while for him to get his net ready. Got to line it up straight, make sure everything uh, go in order or else it's going to be tangling and then you're not going to catch anything. Well, the uh, security guard at the golf club hasn't been yelling at me yet, so I guess I'm okay. It's a very beautiful golf club. I've seen them in, uh, on TV before. Ở phía đây bọn chăm con mong sẵn anh mùi tiết hai à? Mong cái lái anh đá đó bài mắt đây mà đỡ nó. Bà? Ồ, bị đọt hả không nó? Oh, you have to wait for the 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 Nâng này, chắc bạn bỏ, chắc bạn bỏ Chồ mà xui Chẳng có con nữa bọn à? Bà, bà So right now we officially made it to Simrib It's 12, 10 afternoon This is not a highway, this is a regular street in Simrib And I just saw a bunch of people, kids, catching fish and crabs over here on this dry uh, rice paddy uh, patch of water here. It used to be luscious green, now we're in the dry season. So beautiful. So much jungle, man. Oi, Tom, man. Yok chong pu mơ đi mơ. Wow, a lot of smell here. Mình trai ấy. A lot of smell. Chắp ở thông đi pu đi mơ. Đây bờ lạng. Nè. Oh, đã lên đi mơ. Wow, that's a that's a big that's a big smell. Hổ mơ nè. Ngoài rơ ba nè. Some fish, some frogs, some crabs. A bunch of kids having fun over here. A big smell. It's called Bai Trai. So you block off a patch of water here, like that. And then you scoop out the water to the other side and then uh, the fish you can see it laying in the mud man <laughs> again con trai all these kids from the village here man it right now
โอ้จับไตรนะอลเบกฟิชอะกอนเพราะเขาสกูปวอเตอร์ทูเดอะไซแล้วเขาสกูปวอเตอร์จากทิศทางนี้ไปทิศทางนี้นั่นคือเมื่อสมทันติอู้ตรีครังโอ้แม่ตานี้มั้งตานี้มั้งอู้ตรีครังสกี้ผมจะทิ้งไอ้ฟิชไว้สมทันมั้ยวัน Like a sacred fish. This is fun when you're kids. I used to do this too. The mud here smells because the the water buffalo and the cows come and shit here and pee in the water and. And buffalo, like I think that buffalo just stayed in this water a few minutes ago. Uh, he's still wet. His his back is still wet. I think that guy took the water buffalo over there, and then, so he uh, and the kids can uh, block off the water here. Mane kla, chong, eh? Can't see the fish. There's so much mud here. คนจับแต่ชโลยนะปานอะไรแค่นั้นไปครั้งโอ้ไปไหนเนี่ย caught a catfish Fish jumping in a mud. Okay.